October is National Bullying Prevention Month, but we do it a little different here in Sidekick to Hero. And I'll tell you how in today's Message for Monday, a useful message for teens in four minutes or less. Getting bullied just sucks. Like, it just does. Everybody has this like desire to just stop it from happening. That's why the whole month of October is Bullying Prevention Month. Some schools do like a kindness week or they'll have an assembly on being nice or standing up for other people when you see that they're being bullied. Whatever events they hold or however they do it, schools and the world in general typically just focus on two areas, changing the bully, or inspiring a bystander. And all that stuff is great. Schools should totally keep doing that. However, they are forgetting one crucial part of bullying prevention. The most effective way to end bullying, in my opinion, because it's how I ended bullying in my life. The most effective way to end bullying isn't to change a bully or inspire a bystander, but it's to strengthen the target. Generally with bullying, there are three people involved. There's the bully, the one saying or doing the things. There's the bystander, potentially, the one who's standing there watching it happen. And there's the target, the one who all this stuff is being aimed at. During Bullying Prevention Month, it doesn't make any sense to just focus on two of the three people involved. That's like building a stool with only two legs. Not very effective. Besides, those first two areas rely on other people to do things to make my life better. And if you know me, I never like relying on other people to make my life better. I want that power because then I'm in control. I'll be honest, it's kind of the wild, wild west out there for a teen. People are always taking shots at you. Enemies, friends, sometimes even teachers. And trying to change all the bullies out there in the world is like trying to take all the bullets out of the wild, wild west. It ain't ever gonna happen. Some people will totally turn in their bullets, but you know there's gonna be some who just keep like a handful in their back pocket, just in case. Or some new outlaw will ride into town the next day with bandoliers full of them. And sure, it would be nice if a bystander got in between me and a bully when one had their sights set on me. What a hero that person would be. But that hero won't always be there. Besides, the role of the hero in my story is already taken by me. Strengthening the target yourself is the best way to ensure that if a bully decides to take a shot at you and a bystander decides not to get in the way, that you can take the hit. I call that being bully proof, which is October's theme in Sidekick to Hero. But Joey, what if I'm not strong enough to be bully proof? Oh, trust me, you can be. You just need more mental reps in and the right training. That's what I'm here for. All month, I'll be sharing my story and what I did to end bullying in my life and the best mindset moves that you can make to become bullyproof. This week, it's about taking responsibility on yourself to end bullying. And that doesn't mean that you're making a promise not to bully anyone, even though you totally should. I mean, a hero always interacts with other people in a heroic way. So just be aware of how you interact with other people. But I'm talking about taking responsibility off of other people in your life to end bullying. Starting today, you don't need anyone else to change their ways to end bullying in your life. Starting today, you're gonna stop the self-bullying that's going on in here because you believe negative thoughts about yourself. Starting today, you're going to intervene when your mind is repeating bullying thoughts and you're gonna help you be nicer to you and love everything that you are. That's how the mean stuff that other people say will bounce right off of you because you're impervious to any sidekick thoughts. And that's how you become bullyproof. Guys, the day is here. There is new stuff in the Avatar shop in Sidekick to Hero. I had 20 new items ready for like a month now, but the development team just had to figure out a couple of glitches here or there. And there still might be some glitches, so if you find some glitches as you're going in and buying some stuff, please let me know about it. But there are 20 new items that you can buy with your coins inside Kick to Hero for your avatar. And I don't know if you noticed, but I took most of those ideas from a conversation that I had with a couple of you guys 
a couple months ago in a virtual hangout. You guys all suggested some items. I wrote them down and that's kind of the first batch that we had. Soon I'll be taking submissions of ideas from you guys for more items that you want in the shop. So hop on in the Sidekick to Hero, check out the new items, and I'll see you at this week's Hero Training Room. Bye.